this training segment with Enphase Energy. I'm Peter Lum with Enphase Learning and Development, and this training session will be part one of a four-part training series on the M250 microinverter. That's Enphase's fourth generation microinverter platform. In this segment, we will cover an overview of the M250 and want students to be able to list the three key features of the Enphase M250 as well as describe a couple of potential benefits of using the M250 in projects versus some of the previous Enphase microinverter models. So let's take a look at what the M250 is all about. The Enphase microinverter system still continues to be the world's most technologically advanced microinverter system or inverter system micro or otherwise for use in utility interactive applications. The M250 is Enphase's fourth generation microinverter platform and it's able to deliver overall more AC power production, enabling the pairing with higher powered PV modules, the ones that are making their way into the industry today. In addition, the M250 is equipped with an integrated ground, which means the DC circuit in the M250 is isolated and insulated from ground. And because of this, the M250 doesn't require a DC system ground or GEC grounding electroconductor. We'll talk more about this later uh, as we talk about integrated grounding technology. Let's take a look at uh, the features of the M250 a little more in detail. Well, first of all, the M250 does have a peak power output, which is higher at 250 watts AC, or a continuous rated output of 240 watts AC. Because of its peak power rating, the M250 is named the M250, and so this microinverter has over 10% higher output than the Enphase M215 model, which many of you may be familiar with. The higher power output means that the M250 can pair well with even the highest power 60 cell modules being introduced in the marketplace today. The M215 uh, was really designed for around a 270-275 watt peak DC rated module. The M215 now gives us the ability to size for higher modules like the 300 watt modules coming into the marketplace. So a quick note about the naming. Um, the M250 is rated, is named according to its peak rating which is 250 watts uh, versus its continuous rating of 240 watts. And it should be noted that uh, for circuit and electrical size calculations you will want to use the continuous rating of 240 watts for your calculations. Along with the M250's 250 watt production capability, it is also 96.5% efficient. This is a half percent higher efficiency than the M215 model. So at 96.5% efficiency, we're really on par with the top string and central inverter efficiencies today. So it's important to note that uh, this is a weighted efficiency rather than a peak efficiency. And the 96.5% efficiency level over our power range is extremely flat. That means that uh, even at low light conditions, it's equivalently efficient as in higher power conditions. So um, the efficiency curve of an end phase inverter is very flat, which means that you'll get benefit both at the beginning of the power range and at the end of the power range. And so that's the case with the M250. The M250 is also equipped with a, a new technology called the integrated ground. And the integrated ground means that uh, the DC electronics are fully isolated and insulated from the case. And so it uh, removes the need for the system to have a system ground or a GEC run to it. So this would typically be the number six or number eight wire that installers use to run between each inverter, uh, as you would see in the M215. The M250 no longer needs this, so there's no need for a grounding electroconductor, a GEC, or even the use of a grounding washer such as a weeb washer. So essentially the M250 is being used to build uh, what the National Electrical Code would call an ungrounded PV power system. That would be found in 690, NEC 690.35. So we'll talk a lot more about this when we talk specifically about integrated grounding. But again, the integrated ground means that there is no need, uh, no longer a need for the DC GEC wire. The benefit of this, of course, is large because that means without the need of having to run ground wire, uh, that does represent uh, to the installer reduced labor costs because installers no longer have to run that wire. 
as well as overall reduced balance of system cost because you don't have to pay that pay for that copper wire. Or in the instances where you're using grounding washers, uh, these weave washers, there's no lead, no need to uh, purchase or install a weave washer as well. So uh, advantages to the integrated ground as well as a degree of increased safety overall in its electronics. So again, we'll discuss this more when we talk about integrated grounding. The next feature of the M250 uh, has to do with compatibility. So the M250 is completely compatible with the existing uh, wiring systems that we're using today. So for those installers that are installing M215 microinverters with the engaged cabling system, all of the accessories and the cabling remain the same. It is fully compatible. So the termination cap, the ceiling caps, the engaged coupler, the engaged cable itself, all of those accessories used to wire the N-phase microinverter systems up, the ones that are being used for the M215, are the same ones that are being used for the M250 as well. So there's full backward compatibility from the M215 to the M250. And because there is plug compatibility between the two inverters, there is also the ability to mix and match even M250s and M215s on the same branch circuit. So, of course, if you're going to do this, you have to uh, be aware of some of the design considerations. And again, we'll cover that in segment two of uh, these training sessions. But again, the M250 is fully compatible in terms of hardware with the existing cabling system. The M250 is also fully compatible with today's monitoring and management. So the Envoy Communications Gateway, which supports all of Enphase's microinverter models, indeed does support the M250 as well. And so when an M250 is installed, the Envoy has the capability already to detect the M250 and support it. And uh, as we get all of the data into Enlighten, Enlighten already knows how to interpret the M250 microinverter as well. So there's full backward compatibility, not only from the hardware perspective, but also from the software perspective. So it's time for a little learning check to see if you've picked up all of this. So the learning check question of the day is, can you list the three important features of the Enphase M250 microinverter? Well, hopefully you've gotten this. The three important features, of course, is that it is overall higher power. It is an M250 versus the previous models of M215. It has a new grounding technology, which is called integrated grounding, which removes the need for the GEC wire. And it is fully backward compatible with today's uh, cabling system called the Engage Cabling System. It's fully compatible with the monitoring and management through the Envoy Communications Gateway and also with Enlightened Management Platform. Additional resources are also available on Enphase.com if you want to learn more about the M250. Documents like this data sheet that you're seeing on the screen as well as a number of different um, technical documents will tell you about the M250. In addition, you can join us for future webinars when we'll be talking about design for M250, installation, as well as uh, deeper dive on integrated grounding. Well, thanks for joining us today. We'll catch you on our next webinar.